checked. Folder view list, Google Chrome 16 of 23. Ops 29. Search window. Search top. X. X. App start cursor. Normal cursor. App start cursor. Normal cursor. Excel home grouping good eve. More templates. Open grouping. Tab control. Recent list. Annual report of computer classes. Excel. Student details. Excel SX dot. Most recently. Sheet 2 table. Align default. 3 of 5. SR dot no dot a two. Ops web meet dash advanced x meet dot google dot com is sharing your screen meet dash advanced excel class by take your microphone is off dot app start your microphone is on dot stu unknown okay. cursor so uh, here is that worksheet on which we are going to work and just let me know in the comment section if everything is fine so we can start just give a thumbs up or you can uh, Put yes in comment section so we can start quickly okay so what I will do uh, for uh, today I will delete this table which I have created but you don't do this just revise the steps because I am going to quickly do this so if you are able to quickly do this with me uh, then you can delete your table because I have to uh, uh, Put some extra functions and I have to show uh, to our uh, all the students which we are uh, which are going to see the recordings means who all are going to see the recordings of this class so let's do this quickly I will do a 2sr dot no dot through h3249 up cut cut remove the selection and, and put it on the clipboard so you can paste it oh. somewhere else dot t sheet 2 table a 1 okay a two. So from here, let's start the typing quickly. Serial number was our first field. Dot space and o. Serial no dot. Number. Sheet two table. Oh. Then date. Date. Sheet two table. Align default vertical. Align default. C two. Date and then we had, I think state. T E T space state sheet two table align default vertical align default state C two okay I will increase the speed a little bit rate thirty rate thirty five rate forty D two D two state C D two D two okay here city T Y city should be here align default vertical align default E two city D two E2. E2. Here should be product ID. U C T U S I D I D space. Product ID. C2 table. Align default vertical. Align default F2. F2. So here product name should be there. Edit R O D U C T product space. N A E name space. You can observe that I am following all the capitals in my headings itself. So, koi bhi uppercase proper ya formula ki zarurat na pade. Align default vertical align default G2. Then next it's product name and uh, next it's I think QTY quantities. Edit T Y. And here price. Align default vertical align default. Price. I have done with headers. Now I will quickly align default vertical align default QTYG2 as we have did yesterday. So yesterday we have started with product IDs and I will fill all the product IDs quickly. Product name crop up product ID crop D product ID crop D2 num lock off num lock on 101 align default vertical align default 02 103 104 
105. Like this, I have filled all the product IDs. Sheet 2 table, align default, vertical, align default, F7, F7, F6, F5, F4. One more thing I will do here. 101, D3, D3, C3, state C2, C3. Okay, let's start Maharashtra here. Maharashtra. D4, align default, vertical, align default, D4. Let's start with Mumbai. Maharashtra overflowing C4. Okay, by mistake. C2 table, align default, vertical, align default, C3. Let me put Maharashtra here. Maharashtra. Oh, Maharashtra overflowing D3. And here Mumbai, because it is the first city of Maharashtra. Those who have this table, just revise it with me. Okay, now I will type all the product IDs. Product 101 IDs D3. Align default, okay. vertical, align default. 101 D3. Product name, crop F2. Product names. Product name, crop F2. So all the Samsung S series phones were there. So I will type as them as. Unknown. Samsung. S. A. L. A. X. Y. Galaxy. S. Space. S. S. 2. 3. 23. S23, C2 table. N -N -G, sun, space. G A L A X Y Galaxy, space. S W W 2 S22, C2 table. F5. 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 Samsung Galaxy S22 overflowing F4. Samsung Galaxy S22 overflowing F4. F5. Okay. So next is S22 FE, Samsung, Galaxy, S2020, uh, and FE. This was the next phone. F6, align default, vertical align default, F6. I don't know what happened to my NVDA, it is lagging today. Uh, next is... Uh, Edit line left S A M F U N G Amsing space G A L X Y Galaxy space S two one that's and next S twenty Align default vertical align default F seven U N Unt G A L A X Y Galaxy space S two zero twenty These are the product names. Now, yesterday what we have did, we have typed the city names and we have copied these product IDs and uh, names and we have pasted accordingly. But before that, I have supposed to generate uh, one, two more values. G2 table, align default, vertical, align default, G7, sold. G7, G6, G5, G4, QTY, G2, G3. Here, we will generate random values using rand between function of excel which accepts lower uh, value and upper value and it may generate any random value between these two values the function is equals the line left equals r a n d d e t w e e n n rand between left parent open bracket and type lower value that was 200 2 0 0 comma 200 comma separating arguments and type upper value. Three zero zero. That's how I have done. Align default vertical align two hundred sixty two as formula T three. And uh, next was two hundred sixty two as formula T three. H three. H three. Price H two. H three. Two hundred sixty two as formula T three. H three. Okay, H three prices. Uh, now I don't remember the prices. I think S twenty three was one lakh fifty thousand. Edit line left one five. Just quickly tell me uh, the prices. Uh, One lakh fifty thousand is correct. Yes or no? You can reply me. Zero, 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 zero. The line default for one hundred fifty thousand eight eight four. Okay. Okay. One five zero zero. Then one three zero zero. Thank you, Survi. One three zero 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 zero. Align default vertical, align default. H. 5, 9, 0, 0, 0. 
Align default vertical align default H6. Align default vertical align default H6. Next. 8 9 0 0 0 and next H7 align default vertical align default H7 4 9 0 0 0 0 that's it I have done now uh, the we are selling these five mobile phones in every city uh, of a state but uh, for this case we are uh, having three cities like from Maharashtra we will have Mumbai Pune and Nagpur from Gujarat we will have uh, the Ahmedabad Surat and Gandhinagar. So in these three cities we are going to record these sales. Now see, uh, product IDs are going to remain same for every cities. Product name also same. Prices also same. So what is going to be changed? What is going to change? Only quantity which we have sold. So this formula is going to change all the things. Rand between formula uh, will change it automatically. So let me fill down this formula right between Allah. Sheet to the table, align default vertical, align default, G7, G7. Let me fill down this. G4, 237 at formula G3. I will fill it from G3 to G7. G3, G3, G3 237 through G6, G3 237 through G7, selected row 3 through 7, column 7. Okay, I have filled down. Wait cursor, unknown cursor. Quick analysis available. And it has generated random values for me. 226 at formula G4, 261 at formula G5, like 276 at formula G6, 270 G8. Okay, now next thing is we are going to type new F8, city. G8. 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 So from D8, let's start with Pune. U N E U N space. Pune. Align default vertical align default E8. And what I am going to do, I will copy all the details of Mumbai and paste it in Pune. Because all the things are going to be same except uh, quantities which we have sold. But quantities are generated with random numbers. So we don't need to uh, look at this thing. Let's copy this. 157. Simply. Product ID. Product ID crop D2. By selecting E3 100, E3 100, E3 100, 1 through H7, 49,000 select. Copy. Wait cursor, unknown cursor, copy. And one, we will 100, paste in 104, E8. Here. Tune D8. Let's make sure uh, either we are in same row or not. E8. Yes, we are in same row and let's paste it. E8 100, 1 through H12, 49,000 selected row 8 through 12, column 5, paste. So that's how we have done with Pune. Now what I will do, I will type all the cities of Maharashtra and Gujarat together and I will fill this data quickly for west, uh, 100 west stage of time. 105 E12, E12, E13, here Nagpur will be there, F -T -T -O -O -T -T -R -R. Nagpur, now I will move to D18 and I will type first city of Gujarat. D50, D50, D7, D18. Just let me know, am I supposed to type in D18 or not? Yes, okay, good. Kya aap headers ko repeat kar sakte hai? Okay. Uh, to comment mein headers ko type kar do tab tak, in ke reference ke liye. Till the time I will type these city names. So 18, there was Ahmedabad. L A E M A A D A D Ahmedabad space. Ahmedabad. Then. Align default for D21, D22, D23. Here will be Surat. L U R A T U R space. Surat. Align default vertical align of D24. D22. Sewer D23. Hmm. And the next will be. Sewer D26. D27. D28. 28 Gandhinagar. Edit the light A. N. D. H. I. N. A. G. A. R. And the neighbor. Space. Okay, let me type the city, uh, state as Gujarat. Align default D20. D20. Sewer D. D20. D20. D19. 
At a map with overflowing D18. At a map with overflowing D18. I will type Gujarat here. Edit W J R A T Ultra space. Gujarat. And what I will do, I will select five rows and four columns and I will copy and paste it into uh, 20 rows and four columns. So it will be pasted. Let's see how to do this. Align default vertical align default. E, e, E16. 105 E12. 105 E104. 102 E9. 105 E7. 101 E8. E8 100. E8 1. E8 101 through H12 49,000 selected row 8 through 12 column 5. This is copy. Unknown cursor. E8 100 100 105 E13. And let me select from here. Go to dialog, go to colon, dialogue. reference colon, edit alt plus R line left blank, normal cursor. Here you are supposed to enter starting cell, that is E. e. 1, one two, 3. 2. That is 1, 3. 3. And 3 colon. Ending cell, that will be H. H. 3, 3 two. 2. And we will be selected. H student detail dash Excel sheet two table E thirteen through H thirty two selected row thirteen through thirty two column five unknown cursor and let's paste it and we will be done like this E thirteen one hundred one through H thirty two forty nine thousand selected row thirteen through thirty two column five all done align default vertical align default one hundred three E fifteen one hundred four E sixteen one hundred five E seventeen one hundred one E eighteen just make sure at the left side you may uh, you must find new city at a map of the crop D eighteen. Yes, it's there. Okay. So now, just pay, uh, just uh, listen carefully. Now it's time to feel the state and city together using yesterday's technique the go to and blanks and all the things now yesterday we have performed this thing on single column but here we are going to perform this thing on multiple columns we'll show you how let's include the date got to see 18 d18 let's include the date is. Date Let's generate date using today's formula. D3. Today equals today. Edit line left equals. T O D A Y. This formula returns today's date. Today left parent. And right parent. And enter. Align default vertical align default. D5. D5. D4. 15 dash 03 dash 2023 as formula B3. Now see. There are blank rows and columns from B4 to this D32 because we have not typed dates in all the rows, we have not typed states in all the rows and we have not typed cities in four rows for each cities. And now we are going to make it with the help of some shortcut tricks for that step one you have to select the all the blank cells like here are blank cells are from b c and d from third row to 32nd row so first thing is that you are supposed to select the area which you are going to fill including all the pre-made entries so let me select go to dialog go to colon reference call b, b selection remove three d3 colon and d, d. three d two d32 student details dash excel sheet two table d315 dash 03 dash 2023 through d32 selected row three through 32 column two quick analysis available unknown cursor okay i have selected now next thing is that i want to fill these blank cells with the entries which are made in above active cell for example in case of date there are blank cells from b4 to b32 and i want to fill the date which is typed in b2 in these blank cells in case of states i want to fill the same thing 
which I have typed in C3 in uh, means from C4 to C16 or again uh, from C18 to C32 I want to fill the entry which is there in, in C17 and in cities column which is very interesting I have left four blanks and fifth row is new city four blanks again fifth row will be new city so I want to fill these blanks so second step is to select blank cells in your selection that we are going to do using go to function go to dialog, go to colon go to colon list dollar b dollar two special dot 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 button mode plus s here go to special option is there you have to press space. enter or space whatever go to special dialog select comments radio button check out plus c and here we are going to select blanks only blanks so for that you must adjust this radio button on blanks constants radio but formula radio button check blanks radio button check out plus k blanks Student details dash Excel sheet two table D4 through D84 selected row four through seven column four unknown cursor. Now it will select only the blank cells, not the already filled cell. It is going to select only the blank cells. Now we are going to fill all the entries which are there in above active row. Now it is time to indicate <coughs> above active cell by pressing Alt plus up arrow. Now listen carefully. When you will press Alt plus up arrow. When you will press Alt up arrow, oh sorry, Alt, uh, sorry, equals plus up arrow. The final key is equals up arrow. When you will press equal up arrow, just listen. It will say like this. I am pressing equals and up arrow. This key is pressed for highlighting or moving focus of Excel to upper uh, the upper active cell of the means uh, which is there above all the blank rows. So let's move. E. Sheet sheet two. Selected D4 through D32. Edit line left equals D3. So it has selected to D4, B4 to D32, but its focus is in B. Uh, sorry, D3, because there is uh, first city name is written in that cell, but consecutively it will identify all the active above cells, and we are going to press. The next key, which is fourth step in this, that is control and enter, which will fill all the blanks with the help of above active cell. And let's press control and enter. Sheet two table D4 Mumbai through D84 selected row four through seven column four. Now let's see. Align default verdict. Maharashtra as formula A4. A5. 15-03-2023 as formula B5. It has filled all the dates. 15-03-2023 as formula B6. 15-03- Maharashtra as formula crop C7. It has filled state also. Mumbai as formula D7. And it has filled city also. Means four columns we have done automatically. Without uh, three columns we have done automatically without any effort. Means we have saved time of typing uh, Mumbai four times, Pune four times, Nagpur four times, Maharashtra 16 times or 15 times or date. 32 times whatever it would be so we can save time now let's complete this table by generating serial numbers Maharashtra, and we will seven. move SR no dots, a two, a three. let's generate serial number using fill series edit line left one align default vertical align a four one a three Series dialog, step value colon, edit alt plus s blank, stop value colon, series dialog, trend checkbox not checked alt plus t. So here series must be in row or columns because vertical series we have to generate. Ok button, cancel button, row radio button check alt plus r. So adjust this button on columns. Columns radio button check alt plus c. Let the series be linear. Linear radio button check alt plus l. Step value colon, edit alt plus s blank. Let your step value 1 because you are going to generate like 1, 2, 3. One means it will move one step forward and one stop value colon edit alt plus o blank. Let your stop value three zero and hit enter. Thirty student details dash excel sheet two table align default vertical align default at one to three. 
A four. A five. Oh, so I have not made it. A five. Something. A four. Must one be. One to three. Made. SR dot. No dot. One to three. Okay, let me do it again. It may happen. F. Rip series dialog. Step value colon. Edit alt plus S blank. Normal cursor. Stop that. Trend. Okay button. Cancel button. Rose radio button. Check alt plus R. Columns radio button check alt plus C. Linear radio button check alt plus L. Step value colon edit alt plus S blank. One. One. Stop value colon edit alt plus O blank. Three. Zero. Thirty. Student details dash Excel. Sheet two table. Align default vertical. Align default. One to three. Unknown cursor. Two or four. Okay. This time I have made. Three or five. Four or six. So now this table is complete. I hope till now everything is clear. And uh, you have revised all the things. Just mention me in comment section. Okay. Now as we have completed this table, now this table is ready for presentation. But not ready for presentation to our boss. We have to format this table or we have to make this, uh, we have to improve the visibility of this table. And for that, we can perform some functions from home tab because the core agenda of the today's lecture is to learn some home tab functions. Simultaneously, we are going to learn some shortcut data entry tricks with the help of uh, uh, the new functions. So now see, when you... Uh, open the excel and uh, start working on new excel sheet so cell size is common means you you may get all the cells of same size so now see uh, samsung galaxy s22 this is not going to fit in uh, the one cell it will spill over to another cell but there is data uh, in next adjacent cell so here we are supposed to adjust the row height column width and all the things of this table we have to improve the visibility now screen reader is reading for us but sighted person cannot see the full name of samsung galaxy s23 or samsung galaxy s21 or even maharashtra it uh, maharashtra is also not visible because some letters are hidden because our rows and columns are not adjusted according to the length of our the names and all the text so we are going to learn this how to do these things so let's learn some home tab functions which are technical and which are by default by excel, uh, provided by excel so there is no uh, different logic behind these functions But these functions will help you to present your table in standard way. Okay, so let's first, first of all, let's adjust the row height and column width of this table. For doing this, you are supposed to select your entire table. For selecting entire table, you can press Ctrl A that you know very well. So let's do this and let's see what are the options which we have for table formatting in home tab. A 2 SR dot, no dot, through H3249000 selected row 2 through 32 column 1, quick analysis available. I have selected this table and now first thing that we are supposed to uh, adjust the height and width of our cells. So for that there is option organize sheets, organize sheets or aut uh, the auto fit row height and column width. For that shortcut key is Alt H O just press Alt H O like this. Oh cell size grouping row height dot 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 alt comma h comma o comma h now here are lots of options cell size first option is cell size in that row height you can see auto fit row height alt comma h comma o comma a auto fit row height is the next option which will auto fit the row height according to your text and the uh, space required for your text so this is going to auto fit the row height 
Column width dot 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 width dot 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 all comma h comma o comma w. So when you will press uh, enter on this option, you will have to enter column width. And here another option is auto fit column width all comma h comma o comma i. Auto fit. So it is going to auto fit. Now see, as a VI person, we cannot see the 15 uh, 15 centimeter uh, 15 cm column height is sufficient or not, or uh, 70 70 mm column is uh, sufficient or not. So always use auto fit because it will analyze and uh, auto fit the row height or column width according to the text uh, the place which is required for text that particular text so you can auto fit but what are the other option in this menu let's see so you will be default width dot 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 all comma h comma o comma d so you can set all uh, uh, the all of your cells in default width suppose by mistakenly uh, you made a different width means you entered the wrong number or uh, you have unnecessarily increased the height or the width and you are going uh, means you want to uh, set it to the default so you can use this option visibility grouping hide and unhide collapse all comma h comma o comma u app start cursor normal cursor so you can hide and unhide cells also from this uh, uh, option that we are going to see later how to hide and unhide cells Organize sheets group and rename sheet all comma h comma o comma r. So you can name your sheet. Like here default name is sheet 2. But if I want to uh, rename this sheet as uh, mobile sales table or this thing you can do here. Because all of you know basic excel so I hope you know this also. Move or copy sheet dot 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 all comma h comma o comma m. So you can copy or move sheet from here. Tab color collapse all comma h comma o comma t. Colors also you can change. Protection grouping, protect sheet dot dot dot, protect sheet dot dot dot, prevent unwanted changes from others by limiting their ability to edit dot. For example, comma, you can prevent people from editing locked cells or making formatting changes dot. All comma, H comma, O comma, P. Okay, this is very interesting uh, feature that you can protect sheet or you can lock the cells. So no one can make any entry in the particular cells which you have locked. We will see how to do this later. Lock cell check lock lock the selected cells to keep people from making changes to them dot. You must turn on protect sheet in order for this feature to work dot. All comma, H comma, O comma, L. So by pressing this key, you can lock your cells, but you must have Microsoft Office license. Then only your protect sheet function will work. And when your protect sheet function will work, then only you will be able to lock your cells. So just remember this. Format cells dot 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 data sheet format in left parent CTRL plus one right parent all comma H comma O comma ECTRL plus one. So control one is the shortcut for formatting cells. So let's use these two features auto fit row height and column width for now. Pr pr organ mover rename visibility default width auto fit column width alt comma h comma o comma i alt h o i is the shortcut for column width or auto fitting column width and column width cell size grouping row height dot 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 alt auto fit row height alt comma h comma o comma a alt h o a will auto fit your row height so let's do these two things but remember the options in this menu so we you we can access all the functions which we are going to do later but right now we are supposed to auto fit row height and column width. Format collapse change the row height or column width comma organize sheet. Okay, so let's ribbon tabs tab control expanded. Oh, okay. uh, I oh sheet two table at two sr dot no dot through h thirty two forty nine thousand selected row two through thirty two column one. So now I have pressed this shortcut key, and now uh, row height is auto fit. Means I have automatically adjusted the row height and column width according to my text now still <coughs> this is not visible in perfect manner because now see what is happening i will tell you suppose i have typed samsung galaxy s22 and in next cell there is quantity now the s22 is ending at the cell uh, means uh, uh, just uh, at the cell border and the quantity, the number of quantity is starting just uh, after the cell number. So there is very limited gap and uh, the uh, viewer will not be able to see this thing. Still row height and uh, the what we say this column width is auto fitted. But still user will not be able to see this in perfect manner. So for that we are supposed to move our entries uh, away from the cell borders 
for that in home tab indent function is there means when we will increase the indent our uh, entries or our data will be moved away from the margins means from cell borders right now when uh, maharashtra is typed just close to the cell border in left alignment but we want maharashtra to be like 2 mm away or 3 mm away so for that you can increase the indent for increasing the indent there is shortcut alt h6 and alt h7 for uh, increase and decreasing the indent but you can access these functions on home tab also you can press alt h ribbon tabs tab control expanded home tab selected alt comma h2 of 9 share collapse share this document home grouping clip or grouping paste split button unavailable collapse paste left parent you can find this function find that alt comma h comma align left delivery home grouping alignment grouping top align toggle button not press top align align text Number four, at all comma h comma align left general home grouping alignment grouping top align toggle button not press top align align text to the top dot all comma h middle align top bottom align orientate align left top center toggle button align right toggle button not decrease indent button decrease indent move your content closer to the cell border dot all comma h comma five alt h five and h six are there these are the two shortcuts h five will read the move your content to more close to the cell borders and increase indent button increase indent move your content farther away from the cell border dot all comma h comma six so it will move your content away from cell borders so user uh, or viewer will be able to differentiate between cell borders and your text agar ye closely likha hoga dono bhi cells mein to yahan se understand karna is very difficult from where the next cell is starting and from where uh, means uh, the next cell is starting uh, like this things so you cannot understand properly so for that you can increase the indent so your content will be moved away from the margins or from the cell borders and user will be able to differentiate in cell borders and your content so let's do this sheet 2 table 2 sr dot no dot through h3249000 selected row 2 through 32 column 1 now my uh, entries are moved away uh, from this uh, cell borders and now my viewers can understand ha ah, yes uh, from uh, uh, till here the, the this cell is uh, there and from this point the next cell is starting so you must increase the indent of your data to make it visible and for uh, visibility of your cell borders then only user will be able to differentiate between two cells or two columns and then uh, the understanding your data will be easy so I will advise you to increase your indent uh, two times for better visibility or you can uh, seek help from your sighted persons and uh, you can ask uh, them that uh, is it perfect or not and you can just uh, do this thing but I will advise at least two times you should increase your indent so I will increase again by pressing alt h6 6 wait cursor unknown cursor so now it is perfectly visible now i can see the cell borders in perfect manner now next thing is the font size is very less the default font size is 11 which is not readable by some users at least you should have a font size of 12 now how to check font size let me see if it is no formatting information okay it is saying no formatting information but when you will press insert f it will let you know the font size but let's uh, try to do it by another way let's check the font size of this data by pressing alt h f s because data is already selected or you can also press uh, you can also navigate on the lower ribbon of home tab there is font group and in that font group you can uh, check font size of your text which is written in these columns let's check font size f. by pressing alt hfs ribbon tab tab control expanded s font size at all comma h comma fs selected 11 so it is saying 11 means the font size of this table is 11 but i want it uh, to be 12 for better visibility 
so i will increase by pressing down arrow means this is the drop down list so you can use up or down arrows for adjusting the font size align left 11 app start cursor 12 so i have pressed normal down cursor arrow and now it is 12 so i can enter a known cursor sheet 2 table at 2 sr dot no dot through h3249000 selected row 2 through 32 column 1 same way if you want your data to be presented in different font Sometimes your boss may advise uh, that uh, Mr. Please use Times New Roman for this data. Mr. Please use Calibri body for uh, means uh, the particular font. So you can change the font from uh, font itself. Means Alt H F F you can press or you can go to lower ribbon and explore the fonts. If uh, that font is available in your PC which your boss instructs so you can make the changes accordingly. So that's how you can change the fonts. Now, uh, <clears throat> for better differentiation between headings and uh, the uh, your entire table, rest of the table, your headers should be bold. Then only viewer will be able to differentiate between your headers. Means I'm talking about column headers. Then only your uh, viewer or user will be able to differentiate in the row headers and column headers right so for that you will have to select headers and make it bold for better visibility so that boss these are our headers but here is a, uh, I, I don't think there is any system like word that you can uh, create heading one two three because th this is not there in excel Okay, let me go through your chats, uh, if someone is... Okay, uh, so now uh, we can make our headings bold for better visibility or to uh, 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 making it just visible so now align left vertical align default 3 of 5 2 of 4 3 of 5 2 of 4, 1 of 3 sr dot no dot 2 let's select heading row by pressing control shift and right arrow but 2 sr dot no dot through h2 price selected row 2 column 1 quick analysis available now these headers are selected and now i can bold it by pressing control b Unknown cursor. But it will not tell you that it is bold. But still, you can press. No formatting information. SR dot no date two. Style normal no border lines. Calibri twelve point OPT black on white background pattern and bold align left vertical align default. Hmm. So it is telling me that your text is bold. If I'm uh, going to one particular cell, but it is not able to tell me the document status, or the formatting status when. Uh, entire row is selected so don't worry just you can uh, check the uh, single cell and you will get to know if it is done or not now still this table is not perfect for presentation in front of boss because there are some functions which we can perform alignments are there so we can align this data in any of the alignment in excel there are six alignments like word in word there are only three alignments left right and center there are only one dimensional alignment 1d alignment left right or center but here in excel there are 2d alignments left right center will be there top bottom and middle will be there means vertical alignments as well as horizontal alignments so sometimes your boss will instruct you to use both the alignments. Sometimes you can use only one alignment that is horizontal alignment, left, right or center. For this table, you can uh, <coughs> align this table in central alignment, center alignment. For that, you can explore the alignment group on the lower ribbon itself because these are basic functions of Excel. So I'm not going to waste the time by co for covering these basic functions. 
but just I will explain these things. So either you can change the alignments using uh, alignment grouping uh, from uh, lower ribbon of the home tab or you can use the shortcut keys like alt h a c for central alignment alt h a m for middle alignment or and so on you can explore the lower ribbon and get the shortcuts for it how to do it i will just demo uh, demonstrate you ribbon tabs tab control expanded home tab selected alt comma h2 of 9 so uh, just press alt h share collapse share it home grouping click or go to this group Find that alt comma h Align left delivery, home grouping, alignment grouping, top align toggle button, not press top align, align text to the top dot, alt comma h comma t. Alt h a t will be top alignment. Middle align toggle button, not press middle align, align text so that it is centered between the top and bottom of the cell dot, alt comma h comma m. So what is the uh, difference between uh, center and middle? Middle will be uh, adjusted in, uh, means it will be exactly uh, in middle of your top and bottom of the cell. And center alignment, uh, it will be exactly in middle uh, from right and left. So this is top, uh, top, bottom, middle is the, these are the vertical alignments and left, right, center, these are the horizontal alignments. So accordingly, you can make changes. Bottom align toggle button, press bottom align align text to the bottom dot, alt comma h comma up, orientation collapse, rotate your text diagonally or vertically dot. This is a great way to label narrow columns dot, alt comma h comma fq. Hmm, so rotate, this will be, uh, this we are going to learn how to rotate the text or what is, what are the uses of rotating text. Align left toggle button, press align left, align your content to the left dot, alt comma h comma l. So align left, alt, alt h a l. Center toggle button, not press center, center your content dot, alt comma h comma c. Alt h a c will uh, be used for center. Align right toggle button, not press align right, align your content to the right dot, alt comma h comma r. Okay, alt h a r for uh, right alignment. So these are the alignment options which you can see. Uh, I would uh, like to advise you. Just explore the lower ribbon of home tab and you will get to know what are the functions for you. And those same functions we are going to cover uh, before we move to data analysis. Because uh, in data entry part, you should know these functions and you must be able to use these functions without any hassle. So let's uh, do the alignments for better visibility. Sheet 2 table, align left vertical, align default, date 2 so let's select a 2 SR dot, no dot, through H32, 49,000, selected row 2 through 32, column 1, quick analysis so available. will be visible. So Alt H A C. H A. So it is. Receive. Sheet 2 table, a 2 SR dot, no dot, through H32, 49,000, selected row 2 through 32, column 1. So it is centered and I will align it to the middle also. A. Ribbon tabs tab control expanded M C two table a two SR dot no dot through H thirty two forty nine thousand selected row two through thirty two column one. So this is now alignments you can see if it has happened or not. Aligns fifteen dash zero three dash twenty. Style normal no border lines delivery twelve point PT black on white background pattern on the line center vertical align middle. So this is telling you alignment vertically middle and horizontally it is aligned center. Yes, we can access the, these functions. Yes, so it's a kya hoga ki your data will be presented in standard way. Minimum these things you are going to do, being visually impaired person. These things you are supposed to do. The alignments, the bolding your header row. Now borders also we are going to do. And highlighting your header row. These things we must do. So 
इट विल क्रिएट द सेंस इन द माइंड ऑफ अदर्स कि यस दीज पर्सन आर एबल टू परफॉर्म दीज फंक्शन वेन दे आर इंस्ट्रक्टेड नाउ समबडी इंस्ट्रक्ट्स यू टू जस्ट एडजस्ट द अलाइनमेंट द इंडेंट यूज दिस कलर फॉर हेडिंग now i will advise uh, now i will instruct you to do two three things and let's improve the visibility of your data okay now select the data and let's put the borders let's put the but borders but no dot through 32 selected row 232 column 1 see because here quick analysis available we can see the borders to our data cell borders but when we are going to print this document there will be no border unless we make it right if you printed this table it will be printed without any border so if you want to have border in that ta this particular table when you will print it so now you are supposed to put borders so let's put borders for accessing the border uh, border menu you can press alt hb you can press alt hb Border grouping. Bottom border alt comma h comma b comma o normal cursor. Here are some border options. Bottom border. Top border alt comma h comma b comma p. Top. Left border alt comma h comma b comma l. Left. Right border alt comma h comma b comma r. Means bottom, top, left, and right. So bottom border will be applied to only bottom of your sheet, the only bottom of your selection. Left and top and right according means consecutively. No border alt comma h comma b comma n. No border will remove all the borders. Means it can remove existing borders also. Someone, if someone instruct you, boss, we don't want uh, the borders in this particular table. Just go to Alt H B and hit No borders, and your borders will be removed. In Word also, this thing works. All borders alt comma h comma b comma a. All borders will put all the borders. Means left, right, top, bottom, and inside and outside. All the borders. Outside borders, outside borders, left parent, C T R L plus shift plus and right parent, alt comma H comma B comma S C T R L plus shift plus and N. Okay, so outside borders will be applied to only outside of your table, like compound of our house, compound wall of our house. It is the outside of our house, right? Thick outside borders, alt comma H comma B comma T. Thick outside borders also you can apply for better visibility of your table on the printed page. Bottom double border, alt comma H comma B comma P. Bottom double border. This uh, this can be uh, used um, for indicating the or for differentiating your header and entire data. You can uh, use bottom double border to your headers or the at the end of your table. Thick bottom border, alt comma h comma b comma h. Thick bottom border. Top and bottom border, alt comma h comma b comma d. Only top and bottom borders. Banks use this in their bank passbooks. Only top and bottom border will be there. And rest of the borders uh, means uh, rest of the area uh, will be uh, uh, means they don't use any borders. Top and thick bottom border, alt comma h comma b comma c. Top and thick bottom border. Top and double bottom border, alt comma h comma b comma u. There are different options you can apply as per your requirement or as per the uh, means as per the instructions which you are going to receive. Draw borders grouping. Draw border not check. Draw outside border, alt comma h comma b comma w. So here customization option is there. Oh, my NVDA is lagging. Accessibility with accessibility. Drop order not check all comma H comma B. Drop order not check draw outside border all comma H. Drop order grid not check all comma H comma B comma G. Erase border not check all comma H comma B comma E. Line color collapse all comma H comma B comma I. Line style collapse all comma H comma B comma Y. So here you can adjust the border colors also and border styles also. More borders dot 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 all comma H comma B comma M. And more borders option is also there that we are going to explore a little bit later. Let's make it our all borders. All borders and thick outside borders. These two borders you are supposed to apply as per my instructions. All borders and thick outside borders. Drop line cut the wrist. Drop border. Drop border. Top and th top and thick. Top and bottom. Thick bottom. Bottom double. Thick outside. Bo outside board. All borders. All comma. H comma. B comma. A. First apply this. And then apply thick outside borders. Alt H B T. Sheet two table. Two S R dot. No dot. H. So now thick outside borders. T. Also. Unknown cursor. Applied. Yes, for uh, applying the borders. 
you need to select the uh, your entire table entire table because you are going to put the borders to your entire table so just select your entire table and put these two borders now your table has better visibility and it is as far as standards now one more thing we can do for improving visibility of our table we can indicate or we can color the header row we can use color to our header row so that row will be differentiated though it is bold sometime uh, it uh, user may miss to differentiate between header and uh, your entire data but if it is colored so user clearly get to know that uh, that uh, boss this is header row so just apply borders to your entire table thick outside border and all borders so now your data uh, will have uh, better visibility and now let's do uh, one more thing we will just uh, give shade to our header row so then uh, user or viewer will be able to differentiate between header row and entire data and also it increases the beauty of your table so let's do this Align center vertical align middle 15 dash 0 3 dash 20 23 date b2 for that you just need to select this row only because we are going to use shades uh, to this row for this row only sr dot no dot two will have wide background so let it be let's select only this row but two sr dot no dot through h2 price selected row 2 column 1 quick analysis available and you can use shades or you can press alt h i uh, not H I. I think. Huh, yes, you are supposed to press Alt H I. Let me see. I. Insert cells. Dot dot dot. Insert oh, no. cells. Dot dot dot. Left. No. Insert split button. Collapse it. Just Driven press. Tab, tab control expanded. Home tab selected. Alt comma H two of nine. What? Uh... Uh, home tab selected. Sheet. I forgot that shortcut. Home fill color data grid, theme colors grouping, white comma, background one not selected, ah, yes. 171, Just normal cursor. Just press Alt H H, fill color option. Yes, insert F for reading the formatting information. Uh, so Alt H H or the fill fill option will be there fill color so from there you can choose uh, the best shade for your header row now here see just uh, listen carefully how to explore this dialog and how to use these colors now there are some standard colors just press right oh uh, sorry down and up arrow white comma background one comma darker five theme colors grouping white comma background one not selected one of 71 first of all you will have theme colors so if you want to use theme colors, you can press right and left arrow on theme colors. And if you want to have shades of theme colors, you can press down arrow. So don't use theme colors for indicating your headers because they are very dark. Never ever use theme colors. Always use shades of every color. Every color you can use. but you can use lighter shades lighter shades for better visibility of your text which is there in your header row so like this here we will use white comma background one comma darker five percent not selected 11 of 71 white background one and darker five percent thanks to screen reader it is telling us the darkness also it means we can clearly use this function when we are instructed so now we will use this background. White comma background one comma darker fifteen percent not selected twenty one of seventy one. White background one and it is darker fifty percent, a lighter fifty percent or what? Just listen. White comma white comma background one comma darker fifteen percent not selected twenty one of seventy one. Fifteen percent. But for navigation of this dialog or this uh, color options, I will tell you. When you will press right left arrow, you are going to change color. 
So I will press right arrow. Light comma text one comma lighter thirty five percent not selected twenty two of seventy one. Right arrow. Light gray comma background two comma darker twenty five percent not selected. Blue dash gray comma text two comma lighter sixty percent not selected twenty four of seventy one. So when you press right left arrow, you are going to change the color. But when you will press up down arrow, you can adjust the lighter uh, lightness or darkness. Just see, I mean this color. Blue comma accent one comma lighter sixty percent not selected twenty five of seventy one. Up down arrows. Blue comma accent one comma lighter eighty percent not selected fifteen of seventy one. Theme colors grouping. Blue comma accent one not selected five of seventy one. Blue comma accent one comma lighter eighty percent not selected fifteen of seventy one. Blue comma accent one comma lighter sixty percent not selected twenty five of seventy one. Blue comma accent one comma lighter eighty percent not selected fifteen of seventy one. So you can use these uh, shades. Now you are uh, advised to use white and darker fifty percent. But below that, you can see standard colors. Blue comma accent blue comma accent one comma lighter forty percent not selected thirty five of seventy one. You will have standard colors. Blue comma accent one blue comma accent one standard colors grouping light green not selected sixty five of seventy one. So these are the standard colors. Right left arrow you can access these colors. Yellow not selected sixty four of seventy one. Orange not selected sixty three of seventy one. And below that also there are more color options. Theme colors grouping blue dash gray comma text two not blue dash gray comma blue dash gray comma text two comma lighter sixty percent not selected twenty four of seventy one. We are not going to access those. We are using uh, we are going to Abstract use cursor, the shades. Normal cursor. Means two three shades are there like uh, white darker fifty percent, blue lighter eighty percent, gray lighter eighty uh, percent. These shades are used generally for hi uh, highlighting the header roads, or any lighter shade lighter shade of any color. It will be uh, used for highlighting header row. Now here we are going to use white and darkness is 50%. Light gray comma background two black comma text one comma white comma background one comma darker 15% not selected 21 of 71. This we are going to use. Sheet two table two SR dot one to three. So this will make our header row slight black, slight black. But it is enough for uh, making the differentiation. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, let's stop here because we have learned so many functions, technical functions and uh, tomorrow we will be learning some more functions from home tab such as changing the number formats of your numerical values and all the things which are there on home tab lower ribbon we will be learning tomorrow. But uh, see just remember these basic functions. And throughout the course, we are going to decorate our tables or our data by using these functions only. I will keep instructing you, uh, uh, boss, use these things, these shades, these colors, these borders and these fonts. And uh, that's how you are going to make your tables presentable. And then you will be habitual uh, for creating uh, the such tables which are uh, presentable in front of your seniors. Okay, so just let me close this file. Unknown cursor. Wait cursor. Normal cursor. Ops 29.0. Set studio up close. Start streaming. Stop recording.